Hey everybody, welcome back to In Bed with a Millennial. I'm the Millennial Jibeti Bay, and this is my bed. And it is still Kinktober, and today we are gonna be talking about breath play. So let's get into it. What is breath play? Breath play is just another term, a more like socially accepted term, I don't know, for choking or asphyxiation. Um, so if you like to be choked, you are into breath play. That is also what it's called. So what, why, why, why? Well, one, because it can be extremely erotic and breath play has been known to enhance the pleasure of orgasms. Um, so if you ever like, oh, you know what? Choke me, daddy. You're like, choke me hard. You know, it's probably giving you stronger, more pleasurable orgasms in comparison to if you were just naturally breathing in and out. Um, so how do you do breath play? Well, first you have a conversation with your partner about it because everyone needs to know how to do it properly and need to understand. And since it would probably be hard to verbally say a safe word, you need to come up with a safe gesture. That can be like three taps and that means that you need to loosen your grip or like four taps and that means that you need to go harder or tighter. A really one hard hit means stop right now. Whatever gesture you and your partner want to come up with, but coming up with a gesture because it may not be possible for you to get out a safe word while you are being choked or asphyxiated. Um, so figuring that out is the first step. Having that conversation with your partner like, hey, we need to come up with a new thing to signal so that way we know, oh, this is getting dangerous. Or I'm not enjoying this anymore. Um, that is, that's. That should be step one after you've had a conversation and y'all realize that you actually wanna engage in it. Um, step two would be learning how to properly choke someone. Though popular media and TV makes it look like you just like go in and push on their windpipe, that is not what you do. You should never actually be choking or applying pressure to the front center of the throat neck area because that can actually cause a lot of damage. You actually want to be pushing on the corduroy artery. Um, I'm going to write it because I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly. So you're actually going to be pushing on the sides of the neck. Um, that is how you properly choke. You do not go in and apply your full force on the front of someone's throat. No, no, no. Please do not do that. You are focusing on the sides because you still have the capability to breathe um, without actually like causing damage to arteries and the um, vocal cord. You don't want to do that. So paying attention to the sides, that is where pressure is applied. There are also other different ways to get into breath play and asphyxiation that are not choking. So if you're like, I really like to push the boundaries, push the limits of my body, see how far I can go. You have different forms like actual like using plastic bags for suffocation, asphyxiation, um, and things of that nature. Please be mindful if you are trying to do that form of breath play or asphyxiation to do your research. Do not just think that you can come out the gate and act like this is a Liam Neeson movie and you're over here like doing like some torture scenes and you want to get some information out of people or you could just throw a bag over a head. Nope. You need to do research. You need to learn about things and you need to have conversations and plan and all those important things. So if that is the form of breath play that you're into, we're, that's not this video, but we can talk about it. Shoot me an email. We, I can give you the resources to better understand that, but know that it is not just something that you can walk willy nilly into, but it is something you can do if you're interested. Um, other different ways of doing breath play or asphyxiation. Um, if you want, there's a really great scene from Bonding on Netflix, which I will show you. I will put it on my social media this week and you can see. And it is um, two dominatrixes are actually doing breath play with a client. They are laying there and they are um, controlling how much airflow they are actually getting from an oxygen tank. So there's another way of going about it. So breath play is this vast, vast, vast thing that you can get into that doesn't just have to be choking. There are a lot of ways to get into breath play. And if you're interested in them, look into them, learn more, watch some porn that features it, see what it does for you. Be like, oh wait, actually I'm kind of aroused. And then do a little bit of like, a little more diving, be like, am I aroused because I would like to do it or just, am I aroused because I like watching it? Either one, A-okay. Um, but yeah, that my friends is breath play, asphyxiation, choking. It is a normal kink. If you're into it, guess what? You're normal. I like being choked too. And that's okay. 
but just make sure that we are actually being responsible about it. We are having communication, we're setting up signals, and we're being mindful of our bodies and listening to ourselves. Um, but yes, I hope that you go forth this week and you learn a little bit more about the kinks you're into or kinks that you may be into or kinks that you want to be into. And definitely share this with a friend who you know likes to scream, choke me daddy in the bedroom, but doesn't actually know anything about it. Send this to them so that way they can learn a little bit more about how to do it the proper way. Or just send them posts from my Instagram this week that show you how to actually choke properly. Um, but yeah, definitely come back because later this week, I'm very excited to be doing an IG Live with a fellow kinkster. And if you're not following my Instagram, you won't know who it is. So go follow my Instagram so that way you don't miss that IG Live. It'll be on Thursday. Um, but yeah, until then, I'm gonna see y'all later. Deuces.